What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I'm back with another episode of Chernobyl, okay? This is going to be episode 2 of this 5 episode mini series they had on HBO, you guys know already what it is. In episode 1, we got to see how everything started, but at the beginning of the episode, we got to see one of my favorite actors, um, I still don't know what his name is, so don't ask me, it's just one of my favorite actors, I love to see him in stuff, um, so because he's a great actor i don't know if he's russian in real life but he fits this role very well and we started out with with him coming in recording a grim message on a recorder and then he killed himself okay so i want to know what his part in chernobyl was of course and at the end of the episode like close to the end of the episode i should say we saw how he got recruited into the process it was after the fact he wasn't there um but he got recruited to go and fix this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's now going to go into this situation. I don't know if he's going to be there at the plant. He's going to be infected to or whatever the situation is. I really don't know what. what um, I don't I don't really know. But um, it's only one episode we saw. Saw how how does the, the the lead scientist that was their nuclear engineer or whatever um the lead guy we saw he was reacting to the situation he was basically tell him hey does pour water on it <laughs> you know what i'm saying it kind of reminds me that dude was the whole time i was thinking you know how how a lot of us are in life i don't know if it's a caribbean thing i don't know if it's if it's just how some people are but it's like when we need to go to the doctor, there's always somebody is like, oh, just do this or just do that. You know what I'm saying? Just do this. Hey, drink some tea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not drinking enough tea. That's that's why you keep you keep being sick. <laughs> you know, so we have those people in our lives. And it's kind of like reminds me of that when they kept telling him what was wrong. The core exploded and he kept saying, hey, could you get some water? Just turn the water on, okay? Just put some water on it. Just spray some water on it. It'll fix it, <laughs> okay? So um, that's what that reminds me of. But anyways, man, we're going to jump into this episode. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Let me know in the comment section. Leave a like. And, of course, if it's your first time watching me, watching Chernobyl, make sure you subscribe to the channel as always. And I will see you guys for the review of episode two. Do I really have to say how heart wrenching that is? I mean, bro, I couldn't even imagine myself in this situation of Chernobyl, man. I mean, it's just such a dire situation because you, in this, you're watching this and you, and you're like, this is not fiction. It's you know what I'm saying, like. Even if they got some, some things wrong about the entire incident and how it happened or whatever, even if they're getting some of that stuff wrong just for dramatization purposes, there's still the the thing in the back of your mind saying, hey, this shit actually happened. You get what I'm saying? So it's just such a dire situation, man. It's such a sad situation where you're like, you're trying to, you, you know kind of like man thank god I, I i wasn't there in a certain way i mean the people you guys can let me know in the comment section if if anybody survived chernobyl like they're alive today um that's crazy that's that's just nuts I mean, I just watched the episode. I I don't even know what to say, man, because I'm pissed off at the fact that they never let these people know. Like, you know what I'm saying? They knew from the get go and they were ignoring the fact. So now all them hours that the people spent there, they could have been evacuated the city. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like people from people are picking this stuff up on their meters 
they're like that's not coming from us that's coming from somewhere else you know so now the whole world now no i mean potentially from what's happening it could cause a a nuclear explosion that could of spread radiation across i think they named like seven or eight countries oh my god man that's that's nuts that's nuts man and this is all because of them trying to run a freaking test that they don't need to this is what happens when you know what i'm saying i'm all for innovation and inventions and stuff like that but that's i've always said just the the nuclear stuff is just it's just so dangerous and why did we have to go that far you know what i'm saying i know it produces a lot more power and can one nuclear plant can can power so many cities you know what i'm saying one nuclear plant can can power a lot of cities so I can understand why it was invented, why somebody figured this out and put it into play. And I'm not going to sit here and, and say I'm not grateful for it, but it is such a dangerous thing to mess around with. You know what I'm saying? Fission, all that stuff that he explained in this episode, man, I've heard those words before. I don't know the process. I'm not a freaking nuclear physicist. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand the basics of how nuclear reaction works because you know i've you know read little little stuff here and there about it i am no physicist by any means but i do know a little bit about nuclear um you know power and stuff like that because i've it's always interested in um always been interested in 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 um in nuclear power nuclear bombs whatever the situation i've always been interested in in it because not because i want to build a nuclear bomb but because of from what I, when i the first time i read about hiroshima i was like man what is this you know what i'm saying why is it that it can't be you know even to this day people can't live in here i think hiroshima is one of those places where people can go and live now because you know as the guy explained hundreds of years um you know what i'm saying could even take you know time a lot of time before it can be inhabited again people can live there again so it's it's a tough situation man it's 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 tough to even imagine us being in a situation like that whereas in when it really sinks in here like oh man i'm exposed to so much radiation I only have such and such time to win. Now, these three guys, I hope that they were remembered and held in very high regard to this day. I think that's the reason why they made it a point in the show to actually let them say their names when they stand up. I'm hoping that their heroes up until this day are regarded as heroes that went down there. Um, who know? I don't know what's going to take place. Maybe they died and they had to send more. I don't know what's going to happen. So, but I mean, just the sound of those, what I call them, dosimeters, just the sound of them things going off is so annoying to hear them things go off, man. And it's just, I'm glad that they use, I'm happy. Well, not happy, more of, it's not necessarily happiness. It's more, it's more of like the mood that they're setting, that you're using it as a mood setter, like you because it's so annoying in your ear you understand how those guys felt in that moment being down there them things are just constantly going off it's very it's annoying so you can imagine how easy it is for for them to start panicking and in that situation so it's just it's it's tough man it's tough this is something i'm i'm glad that you guys suggested this to me honestly because i love shows that are based on real life i i'm very fascinated by stuff you guys know i watch rome i'm very fascinated by but when people do dramatization stuff about stuff that happened in real life because a lot because you're not there you know you're not there you might see it happen um you know 
I was very, very disappointed. I don't know if you guys was watching. Um, I think it was, it was a Law and Order. It was a Law and Order. Um, Law and Order went with that one time, and I don't know if they had stopped it or whatever. I don't know why they stopped it, or maybe I just didn't watch it till the end. But I think it was canceled because they were doing the Menendez brothers, and I remember that case. So it was like, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew what happened, but it was, it was so good and they had really good actors in the show and, and, and stuff like that. But it was a real life thing that happened with these Menendez brothers that ended up in prison. You know what I'm saying? So I love stuff like that because it kind of make you feel like you were there when it was happening and which side would you choose you know what they went through and all of this other stuff so i'm happy to watch stuff like this just like how i'm super excited about watching rome like i wasn't there i don't know how you know how i understand that it might not be a hundred percent historically accurate but at the same time it's still they're hitting the main points you get what i'm saying so I love watching stuff like that, man. Love, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I, and I enjoy the, the, um, cause even if you know what the end result is, it's still fascinating to see it play out in front of your eyes. Right. So I'm definitely, I love it, man. I like it. I understand it. I'm digging it. It's, it's just, it's just such a dire situation to think about. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I watch this show, like I can't even watch the episodes back to back because, you know what I'm saying? When you look at, they're not showing anything like super violent on the screen, but you know what a nuclear explosion is capable of and you know what radiation is capable of. So it's like, oh man, it's, it's just nuts. This show is really good, man. And they pick the right actors too. I know that that guy that plays the comrade, um, that guy, you know, that guy, I know him too. I've seen him in, you know, in a lot of stuff. I've watched him too. So he's a really good actor. I know. Um, yeah. So there's two people I recognize so far. I've seen the other guy, the guy that, the guy, the lead scientist, Right. The lead the lead scientist that was at the plant that wasn't listening was telling them to throw water on it and stuff. That guy I know, too, but I haven't seen him in much, much, um, much TV shows or. Um, or other things, so I don't know. But I do know his face. Um, I don't think I know anybody else. I haven't seen any other familiar faces. Uh, so far so thank you guys for watching as always man hope you guys enjoyed watching that reaction with me i was really pissed off by the fact that they wasn't telling anyone but they finally got the message out once they realized they couldn't contain it anymore because the whole world knew now we're gonna evacuate the city okay so it's just crazy thank you guys for watching as always man remember to subscribe remember to like remember to comment on this man always thank you guys for watching Terabyte reacts. Push.